going to see about the uh, implementation of polynomial addition using singly linked list. So, how we can do that? First, we have to uh, declare the structure in order to hold the polynomial. So, first we will see the how a polynomial can be expressed. It can be represented as uh, terms. So, each term it consists of one coefficient and exponent part. So, it consists of two parts. This is one term. So, like this, when you uh, form many uh, terms together, we call it as a co uh, polynomial expression. So, this expression consists of many terms where here this is one term, one term and so on. Where this is coefficient, 5, 3, 10, 6 are all coefficient and these are all exponents. So, you have to create a node in a linked list in such a way that the information field will consist of these two things and the next field as usual it points to the next node in the uh, single linked list. So here uh, we declare a structure uh, and a node which is of type structure where it consists of uh, coefficient and power two variables and then another one pointer variable which is next which is of type node again. So here we uh, normally in a singly linked list we have one, one information field and next here also the same thing but that information field again will consist of two values which is nothing but coefficient and power that's the difference. Now we declare a class called polynomial and inside that we declare a pointer variable which is uh, of type node type. And then uh, these are the function, member functions, get poly, print poly and add poly. Using get poly, we get the polynomials for uh, uh, to be added. And then uh, using this, we will print the value of the expression. And then here using add poly, we pass the two polynomials which we got, uh, received as an input through the get poly. And then this will return the answer to the main program. So now we will see how to do the polynomial addition uh, first let us see first we have to get the value to let us take these two expressions p1 5x this is square x power 2 but uh, here i am not able to write so i am writing next to this but it, actually it is 5x power 2 3x plus 2 and 10x cube 9x squared plus 5x now how you can represent in this link list so this is the for coefficient and this is for power. So what you do is here we write 5. Okay. Now 2. So then 3. I am writing the first polynomial. So its power is 1. And then here it is 2. And its power is 0. Now so this consists of 3 terms. The number of terms for the first polynomial is 3 term 1, 2 and 3. Here we uh, write the coefficient here and then the square, the exponentiation part here. Then this is nothing but the address, address of the next. So which means you will be having, uh, you will be, uh, uh, you will be having the memory location 101 because that is our next memory location, next node. So now this is pointing to this. Now this will be pointing to this. So in the next, in the memory, in the next location, you will be writing this. Uh, you will putting this address or not two. So this will be the since this is with this the expression over. So we write in the next location as the null pointer, and the head is pointing to this, and the pointer is also uh, we make it a two temporary pointer. And we will see why these two temporary pointer. Because while initially creating, we will be using the temp. Okay. And then we make the pointer to move to the next, next location, next, next node. So we initially declare, uh, already the head is made to point to this. So these two pointers are also declared. Now we will see the coding. How we can, we are going to read. How we are going to create a node and how we are going to read it here. So in get poly. This is a C++ implementation and we get n and then here pointer and temp. Here what we do is uh, temp is a pointer and PTR is also a pointer which are made to point to this first node. 
Now, enter the number of terms. So, we would like to know how many terms this polynomial consists of. So, that we are doing. According to this, we will be receiving it as 3. Then, uh, till i equal to 1 to n. 1, 2, 3. 1 to n, what we do? We have to create 3 nodes. So, first, uh, when i equal to 1, we create the new node. That we are making to point to this PTR. PTR is pointing to this new node. So, by the new operator, we create node of this type. Already we have seen the structure of the node. So, we have the two, three fields actually. First is the coefficient field, power field, and then this is nothing but the uh, next location, okay, uh, where, where it shows the address of the next location. Now, then point at next equal to null. Initially, we made this to be null. First, after joining, I have shown, but initially only this node will be created and this will be the null pointer. Now, what happens? Enter the coefficient. Now, you get the coefficient and put it in the, uh, you get it as a pointer coefficient and then you, uh, when you get, the data will be written here. Same way, enter the power, you get the value C in PTR power. So, directly you write it here. Then, you check whether I is equal to 1. What do you mean by I is equal to 1? When i equal to 1, this is the first node to be inserted. So, now what you have to do? You have to make head to point to the PTR. That is what here we have done. Here we create it only using the name, the pointer PTR. After that, we assign it to the head. So, now this is the first node. Else. Now, else for time being, it is not. Because now only we have created this. So, we will skip else. Then, here comes temp equal to PTR. Temp is also made to point to this. Now, for i equal to 2, now we are going to create a next node. Now, again, new node is created. Now, the PTR will be here. It is no more here. By the time, the temp is pointing here, but the PTR uh, is pointing this new node. Now, this is the new node created. So, now, it is pointing this. Head is pointing this. Temp is also pointing this. So, now accordingly, here also we put a, uh, that is here what we do is we put it as a uh, null pointer here according to this. Then we get the coefficient and then the power and then it is added. Uh, here it is put in the uh, respective uh, fields. Then here we check whether i is equal to 1. No, because i equal to 2. Second node we have created. So, it comes to the L spot. Where what we do here, we have to attach this is second node, we have to attach this to this existing node. So, which means the address of this is now it will be entered. So, now we are entering here. So, how you are done? This is temp next, temp next, here temp is pointing this temp in temp next, put the value of pointer, which is nothing but the memory location, not one. That is what here we have done. Okay, so here we have written 101. 1, 0, and 1. So, now this is, now this is connected with this. Now, here it is the, uh, this memory location is not written. Now, so far, it is only a null pointer. Okay. Then, now, here temp equal to PTR. Now, this temp is uh, moved to point to this. Still, head, head always will point to the first node. Now, temp is pointing this. According to this statement. According to this statement. So, temp is made to point to this. Now, again, you create a new node. So, what happens? Now, you create a new node. And then, now, this is the new node created. And then, you now, it is, this is the new node. Then you get what you are here, you put it as a null. Then you get the coefficient and you write it there. Enter the power, you write it as 0 because constant by x power 0. So you write it there. Then still it is not the first node. So what you do, L spot will be executed. Temp next. This is the temp and it is next. In that, you put this pointer, which is nothing but your 102. Memory location, 102. Pointer is nothing but created at the memory location. 102. So, now we write that 102 here. So, now if you see that after 100, head is pointing 100, 
you have to go to the next location how you will go by using this next now this is pointing this now after this it is pointing to this now the temp temp next is we have returned and then temp is made to point to this memory location okay it is made to point to this then finally as well when it becomes equal to n s3 now it comes up so finally we have read that so likewise we read this value also 10x3 10x power 3 9x power 2 plus 5x that value also we read so now we will see how to display the value of the polynomial so now if we see that print the polynomial so according to our this is the polynomial 1 polynomial 2 so we have read it like this so if you see that 101 you go here for the next node you go here so it is the, the end of the list is uh, indicated by this null pointed as the last next value now this is the another node 10 3 3 3 is place 2 1 next location 2 not 2 next one last is indicated by the null pointer now we have to print the polynomial how you can print the polynomial so now we assign the variable uh, node uh, that is temp which is of type node so this is the temp uh, pointer type it first points we are not going to move head okay so temp equal to head so now here first we are declaring the temp pointer and then we assign the temp to point to the first node it is nothing but by assigning the head to temp then we uh, we should not uh, disturb this head using the temp only we move to the next next location and print so first while temp is not equal to null till we reach the end of the list what you do is if temp is not equal to head okay so then you have to put plus 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 else you will be putting plus because to if this statement is if you don't give that it will not print the plus so but i don't want the head uh, before the head i don't want the plus so what i am saying is here is if temp is not equal to head uh, then put plus else this will be printed so here uh, let us come to the first node this is a first node so this will be printed so coefficient is printed 5 and then x power this power the value which is here that will be printed then we move the temp pointer to temp next so which is nothing but this one not one now temp is pointing here now again it go inside the while loop temp is not equal to null then it checks if temp is not equal to head yes because temp is pointing to the next node so now this plus will be printed and so on so finally uh, this also will be printed this also whatever the polynomial which has a structure you will be using this uh, member function to print uh, the values in the both the coefficient and power 